So hello, girls and boys. Uh, I'm outside today in quarantine and uh, just uh, enjoying the fresh air, you know, how it is. But we do have some science to talk about. Hang on, this radio is a bit annoying. Turn that off. I've got bad reception here. Oh, I don't know. What are these drinks here for? I don't want them. Go out of there. Oh, there's something, some water here. I don't want that either. We need to do some science. We had a discussion just last week about three claims. Three claims about how the, uh, the Earth was whether or not it was the center of our solar system or not. And uh, we talked about how in the olden days some people believed that the Earth was the middle and the sun and the moon went around the Earth. And yet other people believed that the sun was the center of the galaxy. And we had to pick which of the three claims. Now, hopefully you have all done that, but let's have a little bit of a look about which one is the right answer. So let, let's see. So for starters, let's say we've got the Earth here. Okay. And I don't have a blue pen here. All right, no, I'll just do it in black then, I guess. Okay. All right, this is the Earth. I'm going to draw Australia. Yeah. There we go. There's Australia. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now the Earth. Um, and the older days, they believed that the sun yeah, would be up here. And the moon. Okay. The moon down here. This is the moon. Those are craters. Then these both went around, around the earth. All right, I'll give the earth a little bit of land so we can see the difference. Oh no, my pen, there you go. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna draw a bit of green on the earth here so we can see that this is the earth. All right, color in Australia. There we go, obviously, uh, this is not right. This is what people used to think. They thought that the Earth was the center of the universe, but it's not. It's not. I mean, you can tell, look, the Earth's been taken over by aliens. Obviously, it's not the center of the universe here. Okay, so um, instead, let's have a look at the correct model. All right, I'll get to just rub this stuff out. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. We don't need any of that. Okay, instead, we have got... The sun is actually the center of our solar system. Now, you guys all know what solar panels are. What does the word solar actually mean? Solar panels are sun panels. The word solar means sun. And that's why this is called a solar system, because it's the sun's system. And around the sun, we have the Earth and other planets. Wow, that's a bad Earth. Man, I'm a bit shaky today for some reason. And I have no arms, that's even weirder, but oh well. Here we go, there's the Earth. Where's my green pen gone? There we are. Okay, this is the Earth. I'll give it a little bit of land here. There we go. All right, now the Earth, as it travels around the sun. And you might know how long it takes for the Earth to get around the sun. It takes one year for the Earth to get around the sun. And that's um, a central part of our solar system, our sun system. It has all the planets, but especially the Earth, that travels around the sun. Now, we also talked about the moon. The moon is in this picture as well, but the moon actually orbits the Earth, okay? So I'll do the moon's orbit in red as well. The moon actually travels around the Earth at the same time. Now, hopefully the picture that you guys drew last week looked something like this. We should have um, the Earth traveling around the sun and the moon traveling around the Earth. 
okay? So this is, uh, yeah, your picture is probably going to be a little better than this because you're not drawing on glass, but, you know, it'll look something like that. And um, if it does, then that's fantastic because uh, today we're going to be learning about somebody new who actually was one of the early people who proved um, and gave some really great evidence about the Earth and where it sat in our solar system. So it's like, oh, hang on. Ah! All right, I think I might head back home. It's getting a bit dangerous here. So I'll, I'll see you later, boys and girls. I'm gone. Okay, so now that we have uh, decided uh, that it was claim three that was correct, let's have a look at our work for this week. Now, this week we're going to be learning about a uh, interesting fellow in history called Galileo. He was a very important person that had a lot to do with the whole uh, proving of the idea that the sun was the center of our solar system and not the earth. Okay, so I'm going to switch over. We're going to have a uh, little bit of a look at this uh, sheet here. Now, I figured instead of just sending you the sheet to read yourselves, I'll read it to you so we can have a little bit of a talk about it as we go all, go along. Okay, now it is important that you listen and uh, maybe even um, take note of some interesting or important parts because you will be writing a summary of this at the end. So uh, let's get started. Have a read together. Okay, so it's called Perplexing Planets, and we can see over here is a picture of a Galileo Galilei. That's who we're learning about. Okay, in the early 1600s, when Galileo Galilei lived, almost everyone believed that the Earth was the centre of the universe, with the sun and the moon and all the planets and stars orbiting the Earth. So this was the popular belief, and, you know, it makes sense, that's what people thought because you look up and you can see everything going and moving around, so everyone thought the Earth was the centre. Galileo th thought differently. He claimed that the Sun was the centre of the universe and that the Earth was one of several planets that orbited the Sun. Galileo was not the first person to have this idea, but he was one of the first people to provide evidence to support it. So it's interesting to point out there that uh, Galileo was not actually the first person to come up with this idea. He just he just gave really good evidence for it. And, you know, that's what scientists do. They don't just uh, uh, have an idea, but they experiment and they look for a way to prove it. And so he had some great evidence, and we'll have a look at that. Okay, the evidence. Now, in 1609, Galileo built a telescope powerful enough to see the four largest moons of Jupiter. He observed these four moons for many months and found that they appeared to orbit Jupiter, orbit meaning traveling around Jupiter. He wondered how the moon could orbit Jupiter when everything else in space was thought to orbit the Earth. Hmm. Galileo made more and more powerful telescopes that helped him observe space objects in greater detail. Every observation he made supported his claim that the planets orbited the sun rather than the earth. Okay, so this is where a lot of his good evidence came from, was the fact that he actually developed these more powerful telescopes so that he could actually look and see. Okay. Galileo published his ideas, and these were noticed by people who strongly believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. They compl complained to the authorities. Now, the authorities at this time is really the church, okay? The church at this point in time in history was very powerful, and uh, they had they disagreed with a lot of the things that Galileo was saying. In fact, I've got a video after this that talks a bit more about that. Galileo was put under house arrest, which meant that he could not leave his home or receive visitors for the remainder of his life. Okay, over time, 
scientists created better um, telescopes to observe the movements of the planets and their moons. The Earth-centered models became increasingly complicated when they were modified to accept new evidence, which means all the people who thought the Earth was the center and everything went around the Earth, it just it started not to make sense once they found more and more evidence. However, the sun-centered model, with the sun being the center of our solar system, uh, already explained this new evidence and people slowly began to accept that model. If only Galileo was still alive today to see his ideas widely accepted. Okay, Galileo lived quite a long time ago and um, that's actually a great bit of information that you could look up when he lived. Um, it's just got the early 1600s there, but uh, what I want you to do boys and girls is just write a small summary of uh, this information here about Galileo. I do have another video afterwards that gives you more information about this. It's only a short one. Uh, if you want to, you can watch that first and then include some of that information in your summary. But your task is uh, to create just a page um, titled Galileo Galilee. And I just want you to uh, put on paper just a summary of the things you've learned about him so that when we get back into our science classroom, we can add that information to our books. Okay, so uh, girls and boys, um, I am very interested to see all of your work and hopefully we'll be out of lockdown soon. Take care guys, catch us all later.